Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gem or Junk. This week out, we are going to be playing Double Dribble 5 on 5 on the Game Boy. Um, so listen, um, I feel like Max Caster. I feel like Max Caster from... Uh, one of my favorite tag teams in, uh, oh wow. Get it. What the hell is going on here? Um, from one of my favorite tag teams in, uh, AEW. When he's like, listen. Waffle, did I get my own rebound? Pop the three. Oh my god. Awful. So, guys, just the fact that, like, this game, a 5-on-5 five -five basketball game, like, even works on the uh, Game Boy is something special to me. Like, uh... Ugh. But the thing is, it's like, is it fun? So you gotta understand... Konami made some bangers. Bangers. <laughs> the ball just stopped bounce stop moving. Konami made some bangers during the 8-bit era. Um this is not um This is not one of them. As a as a so, oh. I'm trying no one scored yet. The flickering is like a known Konami schmagoo. Like everyone, every Konami game had that, you know, the character flickering and stuff. Wow. No one is, no one has scored through the first, um. Oh, bro, I was right underneath that. I wanted to really like this game. Double Dribble on the NES uh, is serviceable. On the Genesis, the Playoff Edition is serviceable. Um, wow. This, this is bad. Oh, they scored. Wow. You guys ever notice that, like, all of the... Uh, We're gonna dump this. Oh, what, son? What? Dunked in your face. Posterized you. No way. Now all of a sudden they're scoring. I'm gonna dunk on you again. Oh no. Wow, shooting is really hard in this, but anyway, Gemma Drunk, guys. There's no basketball games really on the Game Boy, and uh, if you have to play this one, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. 